Well, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm sitting, I'm proud to be sitting between two giants. One of the giants in the recording business and one of the giants in the stunt business. Mr. Eddie Dean and Mr. Neil Summers. <laughs> Eddie, how you doing, partner? I'm just fine. I want to tell you, it's a real pleasure to be here with you and to, to let people know that we're still around and trying to entertain. It's great. That's ready. Eddie, tell us where you started out in the Westerns. What... Well, I started here in Hollywood, of course, but I started singing ever since I can remember when I was a little child. And um, I went to Chicago and I went to Shenandoah, Iowa, and I went to Yankton, South Dakota, and played all over the Middle West, up in Minneapolis, and then finally landed in Chicago, the National Barn Dance. And I went from that to, to uh, a show that I starred in, a soap opera on CBS, and I went from there to Mutual. And then I flipped a coin to see whether I would go to, to uh, New York, get musical comedy, or come to Hollywood. I said, heads, I go to Hollywood, tails, I go to New York, fell heads, and I came to Hollywood, <laughs> and I uh, worked with many, many of the stars out here, and finally, I got my own series, and it lasted three years, and you know, believe it or not, uh, I made the top ten money makers in those three years, and I want to thank all you folks out there for being such good fans of mine. I love you. <laughs> it's great. Well, Eddie, you know, I've I seen your westerns, and I've seen you sing when you started out. And you know, you son of a gun, you're better now than you was then. Am I really? Yeah, you've got well, a better voice. They say you, they say you kind of improve with age. I, I reckon I... you do. I wish the heck I would. <laughs> Neil, partner, tell us a little bit about your fall guy stunt business and a little bit about the things you've been doing. Well, as you know, sir, I've been on that show for two years with Lee Majors, and uh, it's a show about Hollywood stuntmen, which is uh, right up my alley, uh, thankfully. So there's a lot of good action on it. We roll a lot of cars and fights and uh, plane wrecks, and we do everything on the show. And uh, uh, Audie Murphy got me into the business and uh, what have you, and I've been doing it since 1965. And I just want to let you know why I've got you here, how proud I am to be able to call you uh, Sunset and not Mr. Carson. <laughs> I love you, and uh, I'm very privileged to know you. Neil, we all respect and love you too, partner. Neil, what about what's some of the, the most dangerous stunts you've done, or what? You, can you tell us any of your close calls? Or? Well, I uh, I've done everything. I've wrestled bears. I've had rattlesnakes bite me for actors. Uh, not we have the legs padded. I jumped a horse off a moving train for a Delco battery commercial, which uh, hadn't been done since Jesse James and. Uh, been set on fire and just the, the things that you see everybody doing uh, to pre, uh, protect the actor and uh, entertain the audience. We and couldn't get along without him, you know, those <laughs> kind no, of we guys, couldn't. really. <laughs> you know, and, and people sit out there, you know, and say, hey, that movie making's easy, but listen to a man that's been through with it. I know that uh, you love and respect old Yakima Canut and you're following in, in his same, the same pattern as Yak. And uh, I think well, you know, Yak, he was, he was great in his day on that. Uh, as you know, he's the granddaddy of us all. There's uh, not a man alive doing stunts that uh, won't take his hat off to uh, Mr. Canut. He started it all, and he perfected it all. I had the pleasure of being with him out at the Hollywood Stuntman's Hall of Fame when they right. put his feet and hands in the concrete, you know. And that, that really thrilled me because Yak, he, he directed my first Western. <laughs> yes, sir. And I, I love him for it. I mean, it was it was number one action all the way through. Yeah. I think we had about six or seven fights in the first five minutes of the movie. Santa Fe Saddle Mates. <laughs> you know I know it. <laughs> if anybody could do action, old Sunset could, you know. Oh, could he ever? When he oh. came to town, there was bodies flying. That's right. Bodies flying. <laughs> in a lot of ways. All over the place. Oh, guys. You know that old Tony Caruso, I, that, that, that son of a gun is something, isn't he? Oh, you sure bet. I, I know you did a little skit with him before. He's one of the best heavies we ever had. Uh, if I had that voice, I'd make a million dollars doing ver uh, voiceovers. Oh, man. I, I just love working with that guy. He's just absolutely fantastic. He's, you know, he goes back in. Uh, he's a different, he's, and then Charlie King and old Barcroft. He's a different style and all, but he's just wonderful. I get a get great kick out of uh, working with him. Absolutely, yes, sir. Eddie, you got. Any little antidotes you'd like to tell well, us? Well, I could, I could do. Some you could and some many, you couldn't. How many, yeah, <laughs> how many hours you got, anyway? Well, <laughs> I tell you, you, tell see, you sunset. They call me sunset, and that. That's what's happening right now, isn't it? Yeah. The sun setting here on us tonight, and I tell you, it's uh, today, and it's been just a pleasure to be here with you and to see a lot of my friends. And Neil, I want to thank you for all the uh, stars in the business, you and all the other stunt men, for 
helping us and making us look good. Thank you, sir. It's a real pleasure. Thank you very much. <laughs> you bet. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed today's Hollywood Nostalgia Theater with Neil Summers and Eddie Dean. And I have. It's certainly been wonderful to have them both on my show, two of the greatest giants in the business. And I love them both. Until we see you again, so long, goodbye, and may God bless you. Bye-bye now. <laughs>